Have you ever cast your mind to the stars and pondered on the formation of our very own sun? Let's voyage back in time, about 4.6 billion years ago. The stage was set in a vast, swirling nebula, a celestial nursery teeming with gas and dust. Within this nebula, a process called accretion took root. The gravity pulled in more and more material causing the core to grow denser and hotter. As this cosmic dance unfolded, a protostar began to form at the very center. This protostar, not yet a star, was a hot, dense collection of gas and dust. As it continued to gather mass, the pressure and temperature at its core escalated until a crucial point was reached. A point where nuclear fusion could occur, and hydrogen atoms began to merge, forming helium and releasing a phenomenal amount of energy. And thus, in the heart of a once nebulous cloud, our sun ignited, forever changing the course of our solar system. From its explosive birth, the sun has since evolved into the celestial body we know today. A yellow dwarf star, the sun holds a commanding position at the center of our solar system. Its gravitational pull keeps all the planets, including our Earth, in a steady orbit. Now let's delve a little deeper into what makes up this fiery sphere. Comprising mainly of hydrogen and helium, the sun is a perfect example of nuclear fusion in action. Hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing an incredible amount of energy in the process. This energy in the form of heat and light travels 93 million miles to reach our planet, making life as we know it possible. But the sun is far from a placid ball of gas. Its surface is a hotbed of activity, featuring phenomena like solar flares and sunspots. Solar flares are sudden eruptions of energy, while sunspots are cooler patches caused by the sun's magnetic field. These occurrences can affect Earth's technology, causing disruptions in communication systems and power grids. And how far is this fiery entity from us? Well, it sits at an average distance of about 93 million miles away from Earth. Despite this vast distance, the light from the sun takes only about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach us. It's a testament to the speed of light and the immense size of our solar system. The sun's position in the solar system is a special one. It is the heart of our system, around which all planets revolve. This central position and its massive size give it a gravitational pull strong enough to keep the entire solar system in check. So, while we bask in its life-giving rays, our sun continues to burn fiercely, a testament to its powerful presence in our solar system. It's a constant reminder of the force that fuels our existence, and a symbol of the astronomical wonders that await us beyond our blue skies. Ever wondered about the sun's dance in the cosmos? Let's delve into it. In a celestial ballet, our sun pirouettes once every 27 days. This rotation isn't as straightforward as it may seem. Due to the sun's gaseous nature, different parts spin at different speeds, a phenomenon known as differential rotation. Now while the planets in our solar system orbit around the sun, the sun itself doesn't have a typical orbit. However, it isn't standing still either. The gravitational pull of the planets, especially Jupiter and Saturn, causes the sun to wobble slightly in a motion known as solar barycenter. This dance isn't visible to our naked eyes, but it's happening as we speak. The sun's movement, both its rotation and its subtle wobble, are key players in the symphony of our solar system. Though seemingly still to our eyes, our sun is in constant motion, a cosmic ballet on the grandest scale. As we marvel at the sun's present, we can't help but wonder, what does the future hold for our star? Our sun, that fiery orb that keeps us warm and sustains life on Earth, has been burning brightly for about 5 billion years. But don't worry, it's not about to burn out anytime soon. We've got another 5 billion years or so before things start to change dramatically. As it exhausts its hydrogen fuel, the sun will expand into a red giant. This phase will be nothing short of a cosmic spectacle. As our star swells to consume the inner planets, perhaps even Earth. Eventually the sun will shed its outer layers and collapse into a dense core, a white dwarf. In its death, just as in its birth and life, our sun promises to be a spectacle of cosmic proportions. And that's a wrap on our star-studded journey. So be sure to hop on board the Universal Universe spaceship for more cosmic adventures. Remember, sharing is caring, and there's always room for more stargazers.